Uh, basically the things that no one wants to talk about, it's my job to address. So I'm a very popular person to sit next to at dinner parties. Oh, that's an episode of The Golden Girls. Oh, that's another episode of The Golden Girls. And then realized that the show was really an effective lens for looking at complex bioethics issues. And was fascinated by the West restroom lounges there. I assumed that people lived in the department store. So they would sleep in housewares. They had like all these nice beds. Then their living room was the, was the restroom lounge. So the emergency room component was if women had an emergency, which is basically a euphemism for literally anything that happens with our bodies because they're so disgusting that men can't even think about, you know, us using a bathroom or menstruating or breastfeeding or any of that gross fluid stuff. So they just called that an emergency. Breasts move in a figure eight shape. And once the ligaments and connective tissues in your breasts wear out, kind of like a rubber band, there's no way to reverse it. So strap those puppies in, like this. So most of us think of a migraine as a super painful headache. But what is it really, and why is it so debilitating? Let's get into my head and find out why. Other symptoms include sensitivity to light, sound and odor, nausea, vertigo, and a mental fog. Most adult women only need approximately 50 to 60 grams of protein each day. The equivalent of around four ounces of chicken and one cup of cottage cheese. I haven't had enough protein today. Let's talk about brains. They control our thoughts and bodily functions, but have you ever wondered how they work? Responding with words or eye contact when the child gestures or babbles. Think of it like a conversation with a very attentive listener. And don't forget, talk, read, and sing to a baby. It helps their brain grow. And hey, how often do you get such a captive audience? That kind of falls under the bioethics principle of autonomy, as in making your own informed choices. So I believe in reproductive autonomy, sexual autonomy, um, autonomy over my own vagina and uterus. I'm the boss of it, you're the boss of yours. 